Today, I'm going to be doing some experimental cooking in cooking simulator. Okay, now it said we're going to make gazpacho, but I said experimental cooking, so it's clearly not that. Hmm. What can I make? Start by adding some mustard. Just a bit more. Okay, that'll probably do for the mo We need to put it in a bucket. Okay, that should be enough. And now next step, we're going to grab... Haha, hmm, -ha, a pumpkin. Just take that over here. Grab a knife. Perfect. How are we gonna get rid of his knife? Oh yeah, let's just put it here now. Ow! That is such a trip hazard. That needs to be gotten rid of immediately. Amazing. Okay, hmm, how are we gonna do this? Try and pick up some of the stuff on a cutting board. Oh yeah, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, and then just, just, just carefully. That's not gonna go in, is it? All this just for nothing. Oh, I can actually put quite a bit in. That's not what I intended to do. Do do do. Uh, let's just blend that. Mm. Perfect. Hmm. No, I feel like we could add a um another countertop for it, maybe. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Save me some effort there. Oh. Um, should put it here for now. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, sausage. Now that we have our sausage, we need to cook it. And I think I know how we should cook it. Perfect. Now let's just wait for that to cook. Whilst that's cooking, we can prepare some cheese. So I have a special recipe for cooking cheese. So basically, you get the cheese, you get an egg, you lob the egg at the cheese, Yeah, I meant to do that. And you get the cheese. And you kind of... Kind of, uh, you know... Smother it all in that juicy egg. Yeah. And then you kind of... Just get some heat to it. And then once you have the cheese, you actually... um season it with soap and uh, wine you season it with wine oh it's not working is it amazing
but for the wine, we need to, because we want him to get extra, extra drunk. We want him to pass out on the floor. Mm, where's the wine? No. Perfect. Oh, oh goodness, the morphs. Straight into my mouth. Oh, oh, oh. oh silly me. Oh, my hand seems to have slipped. Oh, silly me. I'm just going to put this over here for now. Just by the fridge so it can cool down. No, not that. Red wine. Where's our cheese? Perfect. Ooh. And now that we have our cheese, we can put that in. And now we can add some extra red wine. Cheers. Ooh. Okay, this time we're going to make one of my special dishes. So of course we're going to do gazpacho again. We like to trick people into getting something better, you know? So let me pick up my cookbook and look at my recipe. Oh wait, yeah, this is experimental cooking. Who cares about recipes? That ain't quite good through the window, did it? Anyway, so. For this we need a sausage pan. We need a frying pan. Because we need some eggs now. crack one in there so we like to make people think we're doing something professional but we're obviously not because we're not professional are we no 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 one egg two egg and three egg And now we add to the pan, which is now on the floor. Lovely. Just to get the extra flavour, you know. Where do you cook a pan normally? It's got to be... They should be ready. Let's see how cooked they actually are. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's quite cooked. Well, um. Now we can get a casserole bowl. And one. Two, three, okay, now that was four, and five. See, I told you I weren't lying about the sausage. Bye bye. So, in this, I'm going to be making three more dishes. 
get it through the window. No, it's just stuck on the ceiling forever now. I can reach that. It's past it floating up there now. It doesn't, I don't think it actually will go through the window. There might be an invisible barrier. I don't know. And next from the fusilli, we're going to add some spice. Where's the spice? Uh huh, chili flakes. Oh, there you go. Oh, the sponge. The sponge didn't make it. No. For this meal, we've gone all out. We have red wine. Rice vinegar, white wine, I mean, wine vinegar, uh, white vinegar and wine vinegar. Oh, wait, that said white vinegar. Hmm. Bear with. White wine. A bowl, a bowl of soap, ketchup, honey, sour cream, and chicken broth, and mustard and ketchup. And here we have broccoli, tomato, lemon, horseradish, and vinegar, and a tomato. I swear I already said tomato. And so we're going to be adding them all. I mean, it's in all the solids into here to turn them into liquids because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be having a soup. I didn't need to do that. It may take a while. We've got them all in, we're just going to blend it. Did that really just all fall out? <sighs> Let me do it again. I actually put an apple in there instead of a tomato. Anyway. I really do not want this to all fall out. So we'll get a bucket and just pour it in there. And then we'll be adding all of these liquids to it.
Okay, hopefully, hopefully, please, this would be absolutely devastating if it didn't, oh, if it didn't go in, there we go, epic, absolutely epic, let's say that was a gazpacho. And boom. Now, I did plan to make five dishes, but, um, well, that one, I had to do, um, extra for that. Actually, no, I will do five dishes, but this dish is going to be different. See, for this dish, I'm going to trick people into being a cannibal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we can put down our knife as our ingredients are on the floor. And bon appetit, you're officially a cannibal. <gasps> what? They didn't think I tasted good? Seriously? I put all that effort in. Just to be said that I didn't taste good. Are you serious? Well, I know what I have to do now. I'll see you next time.